Hey, what's up guys? The Undefined Variable here, and today I'm going to be recording episode 3, as you can see right here, of our YouTube Spigot Bucket coding tutorial. Today we're going to be focusing on a config.yml file, as well as putting placeholders. So let's say you can have it where if you want a message in the config, you can have bracket, player bracket, and it'll replace it with the player's name. Let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, I already made the project and the package, so let's just make our class. I'm going to call it main again. Obviously, extends Java plugin, and I'm going to do implements listen, listener because um, I'm going to be doing on join uh, a configurable message. Um, I'm going to do, because it's good practice, override public void on enable and on disable. Um, I don't know if you saw in the description of episode 2, I put paste bins where it had the code. So in case you already watched the video but you don't want to just sit here copying my uh, code thing for thing, you can just do it. Um, so first, you want to do new file and instead of plugin.yml, call it config.yml. So now that we have that set up for later, I'm going to make an event handler. Um, if you don't know about listeners or event handlers, check out episode two, which is where we focused on listeners. So the name of the event, and now what type of event it is. This is a player join event. And now what we want to call the event, we're going to call it event. A player named player equals the player that joins. Import player. Okay. So, now let's go into the config. Um, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to have three messages. I'll do um, message one, message two, message three, and then I'll have something called use message I'll call it use underscore message underscore four and then message four. So this, these are all going to be messages. And this use message four is going to be a true or a false. Um, if it's true, we're going to send message four along with the first three when the player joins. If it's false, it won't. All right, guys, I'm back. I don't remember if I um, went through it before I went, but so these and this is going to be a message. We're going to send the player when he joins or he or she when he joins. And this is going to be a true or false whether we send the message four with those messages. So I'm going to have it default true. The message will be and a this plugin is up to date. Message three will be ANSI and L hello bracket player bracket. We're gonna replace this with whatever the player's name is. Message two will be and E and L your HP colon and then I'll do health and then message one will be uh, let's do and five and I'll do I'm a message so let's save that and now let's get back to the code all right so we're back here with the code and in the on enable we're gonna do this dot save default config you don't need this dot so save default config, that loads the config YML file from there. So we need um, two string. Uh, let's go back to our config one second. So we have health and player. So we're gonna need to replace that obviously. So let's start with this string to replace uh, message two. You can name that whatever you want. Equals get config dot get string message 2. So 
we called it message two in the config. And we're just getting that and we're putting it into a string. So I'm going to call this get message three. And this will be message three. Next, we're going to have a string called replaced message two equals two replace message two. So equals that string up there dot replace quotes. I'm going to replace the string health with player dot get health. Uh, oh, so since this is a number and it's just replacing a string with a different string, you want to do string dot value of and then player dot get health because player dot get health is a number. And now we're just going to copy this and we're going to do the same thing but for message three. And we're going to place that with message three and that with player. And we're going to do, instead of this whole string that value up, we're just going to do player dot get name. All right, so now, uh, right before we send the messages, event dot set join message null. Like I said, we went over this in episode two. All right, so player dot send message, chat color dot translate alternate color codes because we need to translate them. Uh, uh, we need to start with get config dot get string. Uh, then we need to do quotes message one. So we have the first three messages. Uh, so I'm just gonna copy and paste that. And obviously, instead of get message one, we're gonna replace it with replaced message two because that is the um, where you replace health with the player's health. And this is replaced message three because that's where we replaced player with the player's name. So now we're gonna do it if statement if get config dot get boolean boolean is a true or a false um, quote use underscore message underscore four. So that's our boolean right here, use message for. So if the boolean equals two equal signs, true. So if it's true, we're gonna we're gonna send them message four. Uh yeah, we're gonna send them the fourth message. So um I believe I already set up the plugin YML, yeah. So Here's the plugin YML. Um, so let's get into the server. I'm making a pretty big face bomb right now. Get server. We forgot to register our listener. Get plugin manager. Dot register events. This. This. There we go. We have our config YML, our plugin YML. Let's export it, jar, it says YouTube server slash plugins, because I want it to go directly in the plugins folder, and let's go. All right, so let's see if our join messages work. And there you go. I'm a message, your HP and our health. Hello, Darth31, this plugin's up to date. So let's change a few things in the config. I'll meet you in the config. So I'm here in my server folder and as you can see YTEP3 folder, open it. So here it is, the config. This was the config that we just accessed from the file. So we can change anything here. We can say your health and we can change the color of that to, um, let's do dark blue. Uh, and then I'm going to change this to false so it does not use message for. Save that, do a reload to your server. And let's rejoin. And as you can see, I'm a messenger health 
instead of HP, and it did not use message four. That's great. So you can give this to server owners, anybody, and without coding, they could customize your plugin. You could really, you could do a lot with configs. Um, locations, names of worlds, integers. Um, right now, it, uh, when I show you how to make custom config YML files later, you can name them, um, which is useful for storing player information um, other than the database, which I will show you later. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching episode three, and I'll see you in the next episode.